Welcome back to another edition of Cook Your Catch with Friedman Adventures and Chef Jason. You know, as fishermen, we are so blessed and lucky to be able to partake in the freshest seafood and fish anywhere on this planet. You can't buy this stuff. You literally go out one day and many times eat that fish the very same day. There's nothing like it, but you've got to treat your catch with respect and dignity. And of course, you've got to learn how to prepare it. That's what Chef Jason and Friedman Adventures Cook Your Catch is all about. You are going to have your friends and family astounded at the culinary masterpieces you will produce with the help of Chef Jason. So without further ado, it's time to jump in. Everyone, welcome to another edition of How to Cook Your Catch. I'm Chef Jason from Shoal Blanc Beach. On today's episode, we're gonna be cooking some wonderful bluefin tuna melts. Phil was able to source me some wonderful bluefin caught off the coast of Ensenada. So let's get into the recipe. So this is a wonderful recipe if you have some bluefin tuna from last season or some that's been frozen and it's lost its color. The first step to this recipe is you're gonna to want to pat dry each of your fillets. You're gonna to want to season with salt and pepper, of course, and then you're gonna to want to place on a butter or oiled sheet pan. You're gonna to want to season both sides. Now that you have your tuna seasoned and prepared, we're now gonna put it in a oven at 325 degrees for between 10 and 15 minutes. Now that we have the tuna out of the oven and it's cooled down to room temperature, we'll flake it out. As you can see, I've already done part of it here for us, but I'm also gonna show you how. You can either do it by hand if you have gloves or you can do it with a fork. Also, how much flake you do is up to you. You can make it more or less. Once you're about this consistency, you're gonna go ahead and add a third of a cup of mayo. Depending on how dry the fish is, you may need more or less, and it is also up to preference. Um, after that, we're gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard, a little bit of parsley flakes for color, and of course, you can't forget pepper. There's no need for salt because we already salted it before. Also, the teriyaki has a lot of salt as well. From there, you're just gonna mix well until everything is combined. And if it is a little dry, you may need to add a little bit more mayo. Chef Jason is going to start grilling some onion. And oh my God, does that smell great. He'll use this later on in the recipe with our beautiful bluefin tuna melts. All right, so once you have everything combined and it looks kind of like uh, a doughy consistency, what you're going to do is start off with a layer of cheese on your bread. I'm using sourdough bread, but you're welcome to use your favorite bread. I'm using white cheddar. You're also welcome to use any kind of cheese you would like. From there, we're going to spread this evenly. From there, we're gonna add our freshly made caramelized onions, our grilled onions. And from there, you're gonna to top it with more cheese. And from there, you're gonna cover it up. Now, if you're cooking for a lot of people, this is a great way to do the recipe. From here, you're just gonna take it over to the saute pan. We already have hot. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of butter. And then we're gonna go ahead and lay it in here and let it soak up all that butter. And it's just like making a grilled cheese. So you're gonna let this cook, depending on how high a heat you have, between two and five minutes. Once it's golden brown, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over and do the same.
All right, for your second option, if you're cooking for one or two people or just your small family, you can do it on a griddle. This way, you're going to make pretty much a burger patty of the tuna. From there, you're going to use your spatula to make it into the shape of your bread. From there, we're going to toast our bread. Butter both sides, of course. For this one, we're going to switch it up to provolone cheese just to make it fun. And of course, we'll add our onions on top. Remember, you can make it the shape of what the bread is. And from there, you let it cook for two to three minutes on each side. Bluefin tuna melt, a way to get rid of that extra tuna you have in the freezer. Uh, there's also a lot of other options you can do with this. You can add fresh herbs to the tuna. You can also add some good toppings like avocado, lettuce, uh, fresh onions, even jalapenos. But, bon appetit. Thank you everybody for watching this video on how to cook bluefin tuna melts. I hope you enjoy it and definitely enjoy it with your friends and family. Take my word for it. You are going to love these bluefin tuna melts. They are absolutely delicious. Make sure you drop by Jason's Restaurant right there. And we're having a special gathering there May 15th in the afternoon, starting at 1130. Check out some more of his great recipes and make sure you come back to Friedman Adventures on a regular basis. We sincerely appreciate it. <laughs>